Good day everyone. My name is Lisa G. Valencia and I will be discussing to you my research proposal. This video presentation will include the title, chapter 1, and chapter 2 as well as their content. Now, without further ado, let's begin. The research title is State of Mental Health of High School Teachers and its impact on their teaching performance during the post-pandemic. Basically, the focus of this study are the teachers and their mental health and how the post-pandemic impact their teaching performance in now what we call as the new normal. Now, this will be the flow of the discussion. First, I will discuss the chapter one, the problem and its background followed by its content, which are the following. Introduction, conceptual framework, statement of the problem, hypothesis, significance of the study, scope and delimitation, definition of terms, and finally, the acronyms. Moving forward, let's talk about the problem and its background. The impact of COVID-19 on rural livelihood has been significant. Disaster-prone communities have faced greater difficulties in adjusting to COVID-19 restrictions. As a result, the delivery of education and health services has been substantially disrupted in the Philippines. School closures, as well as difficulties in delivering distance learning pose major challenges to students' learning outcomes. It has been a challenging time for both the public and private education system in the Philippines since the outbreak of COVID-19. As mentioned, COVID-19 had a great impact in our country, especially in the fields of education. And when we say education, the first thing that comes into our mind are the teachers. How did the teacher adapt to the new normal? Before answering that, let's see first the teacher's mental health prior to pandemic. Teacher's mental health prior to the pandemic. Teachers at public school deals with a lot of paperwork and workload. According to DepEd Secretary Leonor Briones, not only the teachers are suffering from a heavy workload, Everyone in government service is overworked and under immense pressure. Given this workload, actual teaching tasks are being sidelined by the multitude of other responsibilities and roles teachers play. It is quite evident that teachers are overburdened with work and other obligation, and as a result, teaching itself is suffering. Now, Let's check the pandemic and teachers' mental health. The pandemic and the teachers' mental health. DepEd issued a work-from-home memorandum on June 22, 2020, reminding all agencies to work toward maintaining the continuity of fundamental educational services and reiterating the department's continued commitment to safeguarding the health and safety of all personnel. Many teachers' initial experience working remotely have led to several challenges. To continue the delivery of education, teachers have to adjust to the new methods of teaching. These changes gave rise to several challenges among the teachers. In this study, we will look at how the pandemic's obstacle impact the teacher's mental health and instructional effectiveness. Moving forward, let's construct our conceptual framework. Conceptual framework. In this study, we will have two variables. As shown in figure one, the independent variable will be the state of mental health of high school teachers and the dependent variable will be the teaching performance during the post-pandemic. As we all know, the independent variable is a variable that stands alone 
and isn't changed by other variable, while the dependent variable is the variable that is being measured or tested in an experiment. In this study, we will measure or test how the teaching performance during the post-pandemic affect the state of mental health of high school teachers. Let's continue with a statement of the problem. This study focuses on the mental health of high school teachers and how it affects how well they teach after the pandemic in one of the schools in the Pampanga region. The research specifically seeks to provide answers to the following questions. First, what is the state of mental health of the teacher respondent during the post-pandemic? Second, what is the level of performance of the teacher respondents during the post-pandemic? And lastly, does the mental health of the teachers significantly affect their teaching performance? Now let's proceed with Chapter 2. In this Chapter 2, which is the method, we will discuss about the 1. Research design 2. Respondents 3. Instrument 4. Data collection, five ethical consideration, and lastly, six statistical treatment of data. Research design. In order to understand the state of high school teachers' mental health and how it affects their capacity to teach in the post pandemic period, a quantitative correlation research design will be used in this study. A correlation research design investigates relationship between two variables or more without the researcher controlling or manipulating any of them. It's a non-experiment type of a quantitative research. Respondents. The respondent for this study will be chosen by a simple random sampling procedure. Simple random sampling is a type of probability sampling in which the researcher randomly selects a subset of participants from a population. Each member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. Instruments. The research instrument that will be used in collecting data is a research-made questionnaire checklist. A questionnaire is a list of questions or items used to gather data from respondents about their attitudes, experiences, or opinion. Questionnaires can be used to collect quantitative or qualitative information. Data collection. Following the respondent's satisfactory completion of all questions, the data is collected. Data collection is the process of gathering and measuring information on variables of interest in established systematic fashion that enables one to answer stated research question, test hypothesis, and evaluate outcomes. Ethical considerations. Before the data gathering process begins, the correct protocol and ethical standard will be implemented. Ethical considerations in research are a set of principles that guide your research design and practices. These principles include voluntary participation, informed consent, confidentiality, and results communication. And lastly, we have the statistical treatment of data. A statistical treatment simply means to apply any statistical method to your data. In this research, the statistical method that will be used is correlation analysis, 
to measure the strength of a linear relationship between two variables and compute their association. And that's it. Again, I'm Lisa G. Valencia, and that's the end of my research proposal video presentation. Thank you and God bless.